YouTube, what is going on? Right now we're going to do a review of Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Uh, this game came out yesterday for me, and uh, I have gotten to play each game a little bit. I would say, you know, overall, uh, it's, it's really cool to go back and play some of these games. Also, you get these soundtracks, so if you like the music, um, you know, that's, that's also a nice perk. You get the soundtracks uh, to each game. Uh, I will say, I do wish the controls for all the, the games were reworked a little bit just to work more with the Switch um, than they do. But, you know, that is what it is. It seems like Nintendo kind of literally just ported these to the Switch and really didn't do anything um, to improve them. As you can see, the graphics here on Mario 64 are the same graphics as the N64. Uh, which really would have been nice if they would have, um, you know, improved those graphics just because, you know, the game obviously looks like it's 20 years old. Uh, which, I mean, it is. It is. And I guess that's okay. But, again, it just kind of seems like Nintendo could have done a little bit more to make Mario 64 um, visually more appealing. Um, the buttons aren't terribly complicated just because... The N64 controller wasn't that complicated. But I will say one big gripe I have with the Mario 64 is the camera. When you want to move the camera, which is like uh, using the R stick on your Switch or, you know, the right stick on the Pro Controller, uh, the camera doesn't really free look like we've come accustomed to with the Nintendo Switch and a lot of the newer games. Now, I understand that, you know, during that time... Uh, there wasn't really that ability so i mean i get it but at the same time i wish they would have reworked that a little bit it just the controls feel a little clunky um and it just sometimes is tough to play maybe not tough to play but frustrating to play just because uh you know we've all come so accustomed to using the two joysticks to move our characters around and this one is really just a single uh joystick movement as for Mario Sunshine, a lot of the same can be said for the, the camera and the controls. Uh, shooting your little water blaster is a little bit clunky. Um, again, I wish they would have spent a little bit of time reworking some of the controls and stuff. But, uh, I mean, I guess that, that would change maybe the feel of the game a little bit. But um, I, I feel like they could have done a little bit. I mean, the graphics for Mario, Six, or Mario Sunshine are pretty good, actually, given that the game is... 18 years old. Uh, the game actually looks pretty good. Um, I really have no complaints about the graphics. Really, the controls are just a little bit weird. And I'm sure, you know, as you, if you stick to one game and playing one game only, I think you will get used to the controls. But again, when you're so accustomed to playing with two Joy Cons and all that, it does feel a little bit challenging to get accustomed to the single movement joy-con controls and then uh just in general some of the controls are a little bit tough simplistic if you will uh, but overall i mean sunshine seems like it's pretty good overall um i know i played both of these mario 64 and sunshine so really looking forward to getting back into those and, and enjoying those adventures again and then uh, the last game i've actually never played galaxy so i'm actually pretty excited to experience galaxy for the first time uh, I played through, like, the intro level, if you will. Um, so I haven't played much so far. Those controls do feel more normal, um, with the exception it does have motion control, which I'm not crazy about the motion control. I haven't had to use it yet. Um, but I am not crazy about the whole motion control idea. It's something that, I mean, it's a nice <clears throat> idea, but it's just not for me. Um... Obviously, this game really isn't that old. I mean, I guess it's 13 years old, but it doesn't feel that old. Uh, it feels like this could be a, a Switch title, to be honest. The graphics look good. Um, most of the controls outside of the motion stuff is fine. Uh, the overall levels can be a little disorienting because of the way, like, you can see on the game, you move around, like, a sphere. And so moving around the character can be a little bit... Um, disorienting and frustrating just because it's kind of, you know it's not a traditional flat the camera doesn't follow the you know you around it's kind of a it's just kind of a unique way to do it i don't know if it's good or bad 
Um, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. I'd, I'd say overall, is the game worth the money? I would say yes if you enjoyed the Mario series or you haven't played, you know, some of these older games and you want to enjoy, um, you know, some of the old school Mario and relive some of these adventures that a lot of, you know, Nintendo fans grew up with. So I definitely think if you want to, like, see the progressions of Mario and, and enjoy some of these older games, I would say, yeah, it's, it's worth it. But if you've played these and you're just kind of lukewarm on them, you know, or you've played them in the past and you, you don't necessarily want to relive those adventures, then it's probably not worth uh, your $60 just because, I mean, Nintendo literally didn't add anything. They didn't redo anything. It's just, you know, these three games uh, all in one title that you can play on your Switch. So uh, for me personally, uh, I think I will enjoy it. I think I will get my value, my $60 value out of it. Um... You know, but I don't know, like, if they do a Zelda version of this, which there's a lot of thought that they might next year, um, I don't know if I'll buy the Zelda version, just because if they're not going to rework the controls and, and redo the graphics, you know, if I wanted to play Mario 64, I could just go get my N64 and play it. So, um, you know, if they do a Zelda one, I'm not sure if I'll buy it. For this one, I will play these. I'll, I'll get the my $60 out, I'll enjoy the adventures, but, uh, yeah, with that, I think, um, hopefully that helps kind of make your decision and whether or not you want to buy, uh, Super Mario 3D All-Stars. Again, I don't think it's, it's bad bang for the buck, but realize that they didn't do anything to change the games. You will get it as is, just like you would have in the originals. And, uh, with that, you know, let me know your thoughts. Let me know if you've bought this game. Also, let me know if, uh, this helps in your decision making process and as always I would greatly appreciate it if you dropped a like on the uh, video and subscribe to the channel. Thanks and I hope you enjoy these awesome Mario adventures.